Hello YouTube. Today we have a nice uh, ASP 180 two stroke engine. They're gonna demonstrate how to install the conversion kit. Um, so that's involving swapping out the original grill carburetor to a marble gasoline style yeah pretty straightforward this kit is a bit different than usual um, because of the way how I done the carburetor adapter together with the sensor built in so it's just two parts to it really install that and install the magnet ring and you just screw the carburetor on nothing big deal to it okay so we're gonna start by uh, <coughs> I already removed the original carburetor as you can see and remove the black ceiling around here as well and use the black ceiling here on the blue um, adapter that will come inside your kit so you will reuse the back ceiling as well you reuse the screws that comes with the original carburetor so going to install that now that goes in there I'll try and make this as quick and clear as possible. Don't want to make it too long to bore people out, so. Yep, that's all we need for now. So the carburetor adapter is already there, plus the sensor is already in place. So all we need now to do is. So magnet ring. Good. And my collet just fell out there so make sure you keep yours in place. Don't lose it. So you gotta put that back on. Okay, come on. There you go. So that's on, so I'm going to secure it in place, put my uh, projector wheel on, I'm ready, and <coughs> something to hold it snug against the top nut, I will straighten it in a bit, I will this just to prevent the flywheel from coming off or the drive wheel prop flange whatever you want to call it this I'm talking about so what I want to do now is find top dead center so I'm going to use one of my uh, piston stop to help me locate when the piston come up so I'm happy with that right there so what I'm going to do now is try and rotate this as on top tighten up again double check see if I have up that center I'm happy with that um, you can see it is zero one side I'm not worried about that what I'm going to do now is just get my pointer you can use whatever you feel comfortable using and I'm going to clip mine here, it's 
says yes it does <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna click mine on the on the cardboard up to there you go. And set that from zero. Yep, that's on zero right there, good to go. And we're going to do now is rotate the whole prop hub clockwise. So, going to release the piston stop a bit, 30 degrees. And now, <coughs> I think I'm not ready for that yet. The pointer was touching the flywheel, so, going to redo that, try and tap that center again. Okay, still in place, make sure the point I'm not touching the flywheel when you turn it. So I'm going to rotate it again to 30 degrees clockwise. And let's go there, 30 degrees, bang on. Then I'm going to turn my uh, piston stop. You can see here, turning my piston stop till it hit the piston again. Yep. I'm happy with that, the piston stop is in, prevent the moving from the 30 degrees, so what I'm going to do now is just remove pointer, don't need that. Even going to remove this uh, projector wheel as well, don't need that anymore. But I'm going to secure the prop hub because prop hub slides very easy <coughs> good still in place yep right again to piston so the magnet is already on that side there so what I'm gonna do now is plug the trusty uh, timing device you get that from um, from me there will be a link in the description if you want to purchase it. This will allow you to identify when the spark will fire from the ignition. So this will buzz and show light indicated are you in the right spot. And take all the guesswork from it. So plug that in there with a the battery, any battery, pretty much. Any 6 volts battery, sorry, not. 12 or 6 and um, so what I'm going to do now is get my wrench I'm not going to rotate the magnet onto clockwise the way the prop is spinning so you're going to that's the magnet there you're going to pass the you're going to meet the sensor going to buzz then I'm going to still rotate it till it goes off and that's what I want so here we go and you will see the buzz on that as well. Yep. See, green. So off. So all I need now is just say wrench to tighten up. Happy with that. Tighten up the other screw. Yep. So, as you can see, that's your timing already set. So, the prop is spinning this way, anti clockwise, going, going, fires. 
that's what I wanted. That's done. Happy with that. All I need to do now is go to unplug that. Unplug the center. And this allows you to use any ignition that you want. Quarter inch study too, of course. Um, spark plug cap. Um, RCXL. Or trusty CH ignition from America. You could plug any one of them directly into that and I guarantee it will work so all you need to do now is just slip your copper it on as simple as that it will include a throttle arm top with a M2 so you, you could screw whatever you want there some of them will come with this and some of them will come with a different arm but all will comes with a throttle arm and choke arm as well so if it doesn't get the kit with this one you get it with a different upgrade because I'm always trying to make it easier for people and changing the style and how I do stuff so that's there ready to go slip that in get a wrench there you go <coughs> So that's pretty much your conversion kit installation is pretty much finished here. Um, all they need now is your fuel, some nice two stroke oil of your choice. For me, I use um, Red Bion two stroke racing oil. Um, red Line, sorry, not Red Bion, Red Line two stroke oil. That's what I use, my preference, and I do have a special hose that I get a 110 octane fuel from, so really clean. And so, so that's pretty much it for your 180 two stroke conversion. And this kit as well will fit uh, the so this one is ASB, this will fit the. ASB SC Magnum 180 two stroke and as well always have an engine it's a 160 two stroke OS um, I think that's the I can't remember the name exactly but I think it's a I 160IX or 160XI I can't remember exactly what the name of the engine is but this will fit it as well so there you go that's your conversion kit installation all finished and as well if you're interested in a test stand I have my own test stand for this base engine here simple to set up comes with your screws and screws to locate it in whatever wood you want to put it in cheaper strips so, yep, yeah, there you go. Your two stroke conversion finish. Alright, stay tuned for more video to come. There's a lot more timing videos popping up. So, as well, you could subscribe to keep up to date with the nice videos coming out of Morris's Mini Motors. Alright then, cheers, bye.